guys, Rollbat1 here and welcome to a new Yu-Gi-Oh! video and in today's Yu-Gi-Oh! video we're going to be doing the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! a segment on my channel where we talk about decks, archetypes, cards, anything coming out later in the game, discuss them, see how good they are and just in general talk about them because Konami have been so gracious, so kind as to give me more hero support and as we all know heroes they don't need it, <laughs> they really don't need more support, but I'm going to accept any new hero support, even if it's for the, well, weakest version of heroes, which is the Neos Spatian version of heroes, and no matter what, I'm going to take new support, I'm going to want to see how good this is, and I'm going to want to see if I can make a viable hero Neos Spatian deck with this support, so... Guys, we're going to be looking at this new support, seeing how good it is, and basically just take a look at it, see how good, debate it, discuss it, see if I can boost my heroes with it, and then we're going to look at the new elements of her fusion monster, because Konami was so gracious to give us more fusion heroes as well. So, let's go ahead, take a look at this, and see how good the new stuff is. So, let's begin this video. So, the first of all, it, well, the organization that says, yes, Wingman is an archetype now, so... Whatever that means, I don't know. Does it mean Flame Wingman's an archetype now? Does it mean Honest Neos has wings again? <laughs> I don't know, but we're gonna find out. So, let's see. So, the first card is Elemental Hero, Spirit of Neos. So, I mean, in the anime, Neos is always like a spirit around Jaden nowadays. So, makes sense. He's with Yubel and Neos and all of that. So, makes a lot of sense. Uh, so, it's a level 7 Light Warrior effect monster. 2500 attack, 2000 defense. And its effects are, you can only use the first, second, and third effects of this card's name once per turn each. Um, and you can, first effect is, when an opponent's monster clears an attack, you can switch on this card from your hand in defensive position. And if you do, it cannot be destroyed by battle. Alright, so opponent declares an attack, you just special summon this in defense. Not the best, but not the worst. Second effect, if this card is special summoned, you can add one spell card that list that mentions an element of hero monster or one polymerization from your deck to your hand. Okay, so pretty much just add equal or any spell card along those lines. Not the best effect. Um, I don't diss it. I think it's all right being able to add any card that lists element of hero and its name from your deck to your hand, but let's be honest we're not really playing a lot of cards that list elemental hero in the current hero build so it's going to be good with like neos fusion i guess because that lists elemental hero neos but maybe I, I, can you even add that with this because i'm not too sure actually you know maybe maybe you can't add that because it needs a neo specifically but nonetheless um this will probably be used to add equal so you can search another hero monster uh, and the third effect is, during your main phase, you can shuffle this card into the deck, and if you do, special summon one element to hero non-monster from your deck. Okay. So far, my hype factor is going down a bit. Uh, this isn't really a great way to start, because this is obviously just for the normal monster hero build, if you want to say that, where it's literally just, oh yeah, special summon as normal, many normal heroes as possible, and use them to play the game in different ways. Um... But I digress, we'll have to see what else is in this before I can really judge this. Like, if this said, shuffle it into the deck, and then special any hero monster, instant free up. If it, if it doesn't say that, then I'm just like, it summons a normal monster. Do I really want to just summon an elemental hero Neos from my deck? Like, it's not that good. But first one, I'll give it, I'll give it its dues. It searches equal. Searching equal is very nice. <laughs> but... It's not amazing. And it can search polymerization, I guess, but not the best. What's next? So we've got Elemental Hero Shining Neo Swingman. Okay. Level 8 Light Warrior Fusion Effect Monster. Attack 3100, defense 2500. Materials 1 Elemental Hero Neos and 1 Wingman Fusion Monster. Okay. So Flame Wingman plus Neos equals this. I'm curious. Must be fusion summoned. Can I use the first effect of this card's name once per turn? First effect. If this card is special summoned, you can destroy cards your opponent controls up to the number of different attributes on the field. 
So this counts your opponent's field, which is kind of nice. So if your opponent's playing like um, the Brave Engine, that's normally going to have two attributes right there, plus this, which is light. Um, so that's that's interesting, but it's not the best. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm kind of disappointed a bit because of what I'm seeing, but about to continue on. Uh, second effect, gains 300 attack for each monster in your graveyard. Okay, just like Shining Flare Wingman. And third effect, if this card destroys a monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's original attack. Okay, so just, it's basically like Shining Flare Wingman's effects with like one thing on top of it. Where you just go ahead and make this with Shining Flare Wingman. Well, you make it with Elemental Hero, Flame Wingman, and then obviously Neos to just make a new version of Shining Wingman. So... It's not the best. Um, it's definitely better than Shining Flame Wingman because Shining Flame Wingman is just, oh yeah, I gain a lot of attack points. Oh, I can just do the battle damage bit there. But it doesn't have the pop field, which is actually kind of nice. It's a nice addition. It's not the best for heroes though. It doesn't really help the deck. Obviously, if you want to play a fun build of heroes, that's great. You can definitely play something really fun with this, but not really helping the current form of heroes that I'm wanting to build. So yeah, let's continue on though. And this is Crosskeeper. This is kind of like the little sidekeeper stuff that the Neo Spatians had. Okay, what does this do? Um, so it's a Dark Level 2 Warrior effect monster. 400 attack, 400 defense. Okay, first effect. You can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. So it's on one element of hero or one Neo Spatial monster from your hand or graveyard. But if you special summon it from the graveyard, its effects are negated. Ah. <sighs> If you didn't have the bit of its effect that said its effects are negated, this could have been a genuinely good card. For the fact that you could literally just send this to the graveyard, special summon an elemental hero shadow mist from your hand, or graveyard, and then search a mass change. Sure, you can still special summon it from your hand, and then search a mass change, but if you're summoning it from the graveyard, you don't get that effect. So, it doesn't really help a lot. Which is the problem there. But what's its second effect? Does its second effect redeem it? If you special summon an element here, a fusion monster, while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, draw two cards, then place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. I mean... I'm not, I'm not actually hating that bit. Because this is actually not bad. And I'm going to say this is not bad for a very specific reason. Because technically, this plus Liquid Soldier equals four draws meaning you have to put back two cards sure which is fine but you draw four cards which is actually pretty decent because then you can choose the cards that you want to put back that aren't usable and then you have more things to use there and it's you can only what you can only use one the first and second of its card name each once per turn so you can use both of its effects so you can literally discard it especially from the graveyard then go ahead and fusion the liquid soldier and another monster might be the one you special summon from the graveyard draw four cards after banishing this from the graveyard and then just go from there that that's not very bad at all but it's not the best either so i don't really know how to judge it fully because yes i could see myself playing this but there's definitely better cards we could play right now over it Maybe if I was playing like some sealed format or some pure format where I had to play only hero cards and I couldn't play like other cards outside of that, maybe no hand traps, this card would definitely be a card that I put in it. But right now in the current format, I don't see this card being amazing because we've already got so many cards that are better than it. And I really just wish this was just like, oh yeah, if I could just go, yeah, special summon from the graveyard, trigger effect, pretty good. But because we can't do that, it's kind of depressing. But not bad. Crosskeeper's, Crosskeeper's a pretty decent card. It's a pretty decent card in general. And that looks like Neo is going ahead to attack Sly for the Sky Dragon. Why does Sly for the Sky Dragon look like he's got no eyes? Um, what? <laughs> that's 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 definitely Sly for Zorb and everything. Like, what, what's with the artwork here? Because he, you know what? Engage Neo space. Okay, so maybe this isn't Slifer, but then what is it? I don't actually know the monster that this is. It just reminds me of Slifer the Sky Dragon with one of his mouths, clearly. Um, okay, normal spell card. You can only have to make one card of this card's name per turn. You cannot spell someone's from the extra deck the turn you make this card, except fusion monsters. Okay, the only one you'd be summoning is Cross Crusader, but I guess you can live without it. Okay, so first and only effect from this of it. Send one near spatial monster and one hero monster to the graveyard. One from your hand and one from your deck. Special summon one Neo Spatial monster or one level five or higher elemental hero monster from your deck. 
If it is a, an element to renew, it gives 1,000 attack. And if you do, add one polymerization from your deck to your hand or graveyard to your hand. Okay, so basically what this does is you have a Neo Space in hand, you have an Elemental Hero in hand, or sorry, you have one in deck, you have one in hand. You activate this, you send them both to grave, you special summon a Neos, you special summon an Honest Neos, you special summon um, a Malicious, no, you can't summon a Malicious because it's got to be an Elemental Hero, you special summon uh, a Neos in general, like just any level 5 or higher hero, and then, well, Elemental Hero, then you just go ahead and add a Polymerization from your deck to hand. Now, don't get me wrong, that's not bad. That's not bad whatsoever. But it doesn't help the current form of heroes, which is my main problem with these cards right now. Like, don't get me wrong, great for Neos players. Great for Neos players, this stuff helps them a lot. It gives them a lot of consistency, it gives them a lot of boom. And honestly, I'm probably gonna try a Neos build now again because I tried it back when um, Darks, <laughs> what was it? Uh, the uh, set where Fusion Destiny came out, or, or was it Sast? Um, I think it was Savage Strike actually, where we got all the Neo support, and I was like, okay, I'll try Neo, see if we can make a viable build. And this stuff definitely helps it more than back in, well, Savage Strike Dark Neo Storm days, where it didn't really do a lot. But this stuff isn't really amazing, especially seeing as Polymerization isn't really a card that you would use in Neos because you want to contact Fuse more. You've not really got a lot of things that help outside of it. It's very locked. And don't get me wrong, that isn't a bad thing because it definitely helps what they intended for it to help, but it's not an amazing thing either, if you get what I mean. So not bad cards by any stretch of the imagination, but we shall continue and see what we go from here. Okay, where's my Air Neos? Like, that's Honest Neos in the middle because I can see like his wings there. Like that's Honest Neos, not, not Air Neos. Cause like you got the, air, the wings there and everything. You got the little satchel bit. Didn't he have the artwork on the top with him? Yeah, like, maybe that, maybe that is on Aeneas' wings? No, Air, that's not Aeneas' wings, because Aeneas' wings aren't that color. What? Where's my Aeneas? Like, I know that, I know Konami have actually got, like, a thing with Aeneas, because the art belongs to someone else, so they can't reprint the card or anything, but at least redesign him to an extent to put him on like this. This is actually an iconic scene from GX. Okay. So, instant contact, normal spell card, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Pay 1,000 life points, special 1 level 7 or lower elemental hero monster or new special monster from your extra deck, ignoring your summoning conditions. But if you do not have an elemental hero nearest on the field or in your graveyard, the summoned monster cannot attack, its effects are negated. Also, return it to the end extra deck during the end phase. Konami did something right. This card is very good. This is an instant fusion for heroes. This card is very, very good. I like this card because this card literally says we can finally special summon our hero monsters without polymerization. Now, obviously, there is not a wide range of heroes that you can summon with this. You can summon anything level 7 or lower. So, what am I thinking that you can summon from the extra? You can summon from Wingman, Thunder Giant, um, Rampart, Blaster, um, anything level 7 or lower you can summon from the extra. I don't think that any of the Omni heroes you can summon from the extra because I don't think... I think those are all level 8. But, this card literally says I can summon any of them. And I really, really like that. And that's really cool. I think that's a good effect. I think this is a very good card. This is the first card I can see that actually can help heroes in general outside of just the Neo stuff because you can actually be summoning tons of different things with this card, such as, I don't know, um, Flame Wingman in any deck. Like, it definitely helps this to summon Flame Wingman to then go ahead and Polymerization your Elemental Hero Neos, which is just really good to make the... Um, the board wipe Neos Fusion right here, which is just like, oh yeah, I can just kill a ton of cards. That's really good. So that's very decent. First card, honestly, that I can say is very, very good. I really like this card. This card is great. And yeah, um, <laughs> Konami, this is the first one I'm seeing here that I really, really like. Because just having the ability to summon any level 7 or lower hero, it's something that we've wanted for a long time, and seeing as you can't really summon heroes outside of fusion, outside of the masked heroes, this is the first time that I've actually seen a hero card that just says, yeah, 
Special your flame wing man. Special your thunder giant. Do whatever you want. Just have fun. And I really, really like instant contact because of that. So, Konami, I give you a crisp 7 out of 10 for this card. And I only say 7 because it's level 7. If you could summon level 8, man, this card would have been nuts. I'd just go ahead and activate this. Special summon elemental hero absolute 0 from the extra deck. Oh, that would be so good. But no, Absolute Zero is a level 8, so we can't do that. But it would have been really cool and really nice. So not a bad card, not a bad card. I really, really like it a lot. So what's the next one? And this is a continuous spell, and it's N Wave. So you can only use the first second effect of this card once per turn. First effect, if your Elemental Hero Monsters is used as a material for a fusion summon and sent to the graveyard or banished, you can special one Neos Spatian or one Elemental Hero Monster, or, well, sorry, one Elemental Hero Neos from your deck. Okay, so that's not bad. Basically, fusion summon, uh, send it to the graveyard or it's banished, and just go ahead, like, ah, yeah, I want a specific Neo Spatian. Now, nah, I want to summon my elemental hero Neos, and just go from there. That's that's not bad. That's pretty decent. So it's just more contact plays, which is actually kind of nice. And second effect, if a Neo Spatial monsters and slash or hero, an elemental hero Neos is shoved from the, your field slash or graveyard into your deck slash or extra deck, you can throw some one elemental hero monster from your graveyard. Okay, that's not bad because as soon as you shuffle away for a contact fusion, you can just go ahead and slap that hero from the graveyard, probably a shadow mist to go ahead and get that mass change uh, or something along those lines, and go from there, make something cool, and just go ahead and get a free search, a free summon, just get free effects because this one doesn't say you can't use its effects. Its effects aren't negated. Unlike this one that says its effects are negated. <laughs> But yeah, this one's actually pretty decent. It's not the best card again. It's got a very decent effect where it's just literally, oh yeah, you go ahead and fusion summon. You then get to go ahead and smack a Neo Spatial or a Neos on the board. And then you can also go ahead and use its effect to just go ahead and special the hero from the graveyard. So not the worst card, but also not the best card. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest. But I, I'm being very honest with these cards, guys. I'm a hero connoisseur. I love heroes. And I will be brutally honest with every card Konami make about this. So we'll keep going. So... The last one, I think? No, there's more. There's a bit more. So, Fusion Over. Alright, what does this do? Quick play spell card. So, target one face-up monster on the field, reveal one hero, elemental hero, and one neospatial monster, or one level 10 monster from your hand, deck, or extra deck, and if you use the targeted monsters as fusion materials this turn, you can treat its name as the revealed monsters. Also, if you have an elemental hero neos on your field, slash your graveyard, send the revealed monster to the graveyard, otherwise, if it was revealed from your hand, shuffle it into the deck. So, you target one monster on your field, you reveal a hero, a neos, or a level 10 monster from your deck. Uh, slash hand, deck, or extra deck. And if you use the target monster as a fusion material this turn, you can treat it as the revealed monster. Okay. If you have a hero, neos, on your field, slash or in your graveyard, send the revealed monster to the graveyard. Otherwise, if it was revealed from the hand, shuffle it into the deck. So pretty much what I'm seeing here is you reveal Rainbow Dragon, then you send Rainbow Dragon to Grave if you control the Elemental Hero Neos, so you can go ahead and get it in the Grave, or if you don't. So if you don't have a Neos in the field or Graveyard, then you just leave it in deck. I'm, I'm thinking that's how this works. So what pretty much what I'm seeing here, guys, is kind of a bad, <laughs> like... What am, I what am I trying to say here? Um, it's kind of like a bad Prisma. Elemental Hero Prisma. And don't get me wrong. This could be very decent. Because you could go ahead and target a Shadow Mist. Or reveal a specific hero in your deck. To get that specific material. To go ahead and make a fusion monster. Or spe well, a specific hero fusion monster. Which isn't bad. But at the same time. It's not the best. This card definitely helps making Rainbow Neos. This card definitely helps making the Contact Heroes. But... It doesn't really do anything else outside of that, which is my problem with it. So, it's kind of a bad Prisma. It's not the worst card, because it can definitely be used to make, like, any of the contact Neoses. You can literally, if you open this, plus Neo Space Connector, you can literally go into any of the contact Neoses, outside of, obviously, the ones that need two uh, Neo Spatians. But, it's not the worst, it's not the best, but I'll, I'll take it. It's not bad, it's not bad. And then, the next card is Favorite Contact. 
Normal trap. Oh god, hero trap cards are never good. Um, okay, but effect special one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists a hero monster as a material. By placing the materials listed on it on the bottom of the deck in any order from among cards in your hand, on your field, in your graveyard, slash or face up banished cards, ignoring its summoning conditions. And if you do place elementalist Neos, the summoned monster cannot return to the extra deck. Oh, okay, so so basically you ignore the summoning conditions, and if you place an elemental hero Neos, the summon monster cannot return to the extra deck. Okay, so pretty much this says is you fusion summon, and if you made a Neos contact fusion, then with the Neos monster elemental hero Neos in your graveyard or in your field, or banished for instance, then you just go ahead and shuffle them into the deck, but then the contact fusion Neos won't be banished during, or won't go to the extra deck during the end of the turn. So it's not bad, it's not the best, it's not the worst. But again, it's a hero trap card, and hero trap cards aren't the best. So, yeah, it's not terrible. It's not the best, though. We'll have to see where this goes. So we've looked at the Neos Fusion cards now. Now it's time to actually look at the final card that Konami released today for new hero support, which is the new Hero Fusion. Now, from the artwork that I'm looking at here, I think it's going to have something to do with Jaden on it. It's going to have something with Winkaribo, other fusion heroes, and hero kids for some reason, which I'm kind of curious to see what they've done with hero kid. It's always been a card that's been there, but not really done anything. So I'm hoping this is going to be good because honestly, the newest fusion cards, they're great. Don't get me wrong. The trap is great. The spell card is amazing. Just instant contact is great. The prisma card, it's okay if you want to play that kind of hero build, but currently right now, this is what I'm banking all my chips on so let's go ahead see what this does see how good it is and read the new hero fusion so wake up your e hero so wake up your elemental hero so let's see what it does so it's a level 10 light warrior fusion effect monster it has hero kids wingman well shining flare wingman wing karibo necro shade uh neo bubble man <laughs> like wild heart mixed with blade edge i forgot its name i think it's um uh, Wild Edge, and it's got a lot of different cards. No Jaden from the looks of it, but hey, I'm not going to complain. If you don't want Jaden on it, you don't want Jaden on it. But let's see what this does. So it's one hero monster, fusion monster, plus one warrior monster. Okay, not impossible because you can literally make absolute zero, get polymerization back, use a war here, another hero plus an elemental hero absolute zero to board wipe with this card's effect well with the absolute zero's effect not the worst but we'll have to see what happens and also you could play like the new well instant contact to go ahead and polymerization into this too because that's not impossible as well instant contact plus a warrior plus polymerization it's literally this so it's not the end of the world there but let's see what it actually does so first effect gains 300 attack for each fusion material used for its fusion summon this card can attack a number of attacks on monsters each battle phase up to the number of fusion monsters used as material for its fusion summon so you're probably only going to be using one even though it's plus one or plus fusion monsters well you're going to get like two attacks actually because it's one of the material fusion monster plus one warrior monsters so you can't really use well a lot of things i think the one plus warrior monsters means that you can use more than just one fusion monster or one warrior monster but let's be honest we're not going to really be focusing on that because this can only attack monsters unless your opponent has a big board and you probably just want to keep the fusion monsters regardless but nonetheless we'll see what else this card can do because having multiple attacks not the best probably up to five why there's six monsters on it i don't get because it can go up to, well it can actually have up to six now can't it but nonetheless we'll continue to see what its second effect is so anyway, if this card battled a monster dam after damage calculation destroy that monster and if you do inflict damage drop on equal to its original attack okay so if you battled any monster even if it's a defense mode you kill it and then you deal damage again not an insane effect when you're really thinking about it because the amount of things you're going to have to put into it doesn't really help <laughs> but hopefully its third effect saves it third effect if this fusion summon card is destroyed to summon one warrior monster from your hand or deck okay <laughs> okay konami konami you had a shot you had a shot here like don't get me wrong 
So this, this card isn't bad. This isn't bad in any way, shape, or form. But it's just not what I wanted. Like, honestly, if this card... Like, for instance, if this card needs a fusion elemental hero monster plus one more monster, I just wish it had a negate. Like, the one thing heroes are missing to actually put themselves on the map properly and be good at events and be able to be played at all these different places is one negate. And the fact that you have to use one fusion element hero and one plus warrior monsters to make this card means that this was the perfect chance Konami had to just say, yeah, one Omni negate. If you used two fusion monsters to make this card, this card can negate any card once per turn like they had that chance and if it did that i would have used this card because literally one elemental hero plus one fusion monster to have an omni negate possible i would play the instant fusion i'll play instant contact make two use polymerization and then go into this gives me an omni negate sure i have to use more resources to be able to get to it and have to play more cards but at least i have access to that omni negate which is fine by me but it doesn't have that. But honestly, guys, looking at all these cards, I'm very, very thankful to have more hero support. Don't get me wrong. I'm always happy to see more hero support coming out, more things to being done with heroes, and more ways to improve and play other versions of heroes as well. And these builds are definitely new things that you can actually put into heroes, put into new versions of heroes, play a normal hero build, play omni heroes, play, well, for instance, normal heroes, neos heroes, neospatian heroes, all of that is really good for this new support. Does it help the current build of heroes for, well, right now? No, no, it doesn't. But honestly, do I think these cards are bad? No. Honestly, this fusion monster may not be the best, but you can attack up to six monsters with this and do a ton of damage, which isn't bad. And if it dies, you just go ahead and special summon a hero from your deck, or any warrior for that instance, which is not bad. These All these Neos fusion cards aren't bad either. You've got favorite contact here, which is actually pretty decent because it can be just like a parallel world fusion, miracle fusion, or anything that shuffles away things into the deck, ignoring summoning conditions for a hero summon, and then just go ahead and slap it on the board. And even if you use Neos, that card doesn't get shuffled to the edge deck at the end of the turn, which is really, really strong. You've got the new, well, as I said, a bad Prisma, which as I said, you can reveal a hero monster, well, you target a hero monster, Neos Patient, or a level 10 monster, and then just go ahead and make it any hero monster or any level 10 in your deck, and just go ahead and have it become that card, which is really decent, because, well, you get Rainbow Dragon, you now have Rainbow Dragons, go ahead into Rainbow Neos, for instance, which is pretty decent. You've got this card, which is not the best, I'll admit, but it has the ability to summon, well, Elemental Hero Neos, all the Neos fish from your deck, and also revive heroes. You've got this card, which is instantly crap, like, honestly, Instant Contact is a card that I actually kind of want to mess around with in Heroes, just to have, to see what I can do with it, and that's really, really strong, because this card is actually really, really decent. And you've just got a lot of really Really cool cards here. Ne Engage Neospace. Not bad. It can go ahead and add a polymerization from your deck to your hand. It can also go ahead and special summon a Neospatian or level 5 high hero from the deck. Very easy as well because you just go ahead and send one Neospatian and one other material from your hand to the graveyard. Or hand and deck to the graveyard. You've got Crosskeeper, which honestly, <laughs> it's... It's not the best, but I see where they were trying to go, and the fact that you can kind of abuse this with Liquid Soldier, as I said earlier, to go ahead and just draw four cards and then put two back, not the worst. And then you even got the new Fusion Monster that literally is just like, oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop a ton of cards, and I've got all the best parts of Flame Wingman as well, or Shining Flame Wingman. And then finally, Spirit of Neos. This card isn't the best. It can add equal, and it can also special summon itself for free, which is not bad. And if you really want to, you can shuffle it into the deck, summon a normal Neos, or go ahead and summon an Avion, the Stenatrix, Clayman, anything along those lines. But guys, honest thoughts on these new hero cards, they're not the best. They're not the worst, but they're not the best. So honestly, guys, I'm happy to see that we're getting more hero support. I'll probably try these out in some random hero build that I play with like Neo Spatians or something. See how good I can make the deck on my own. Maybe make a video on it, a deck profile if you guys want to see it. But in all honesty, guys, this is just fun. These cards are fun. They're here to have fun. And if you guys love heroes, definitely try to have fun with these cards because Konami have made something for heroes to be fun. 
So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Tell me your thoughts on these hero cards in the comment section below. Do you think they're good? Do you think they're bad? Do you think there's any way to abuse them, break them in heroes? I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on them because honestly, I love heroes. I'm a hero maniac. I'll keep talking about hero cards, give my blatantly honest opinions on them until the day I stop recording and then the day I stop making videos because heroes are my favorite and I'll never stop loving them. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Robot Bat 1, signing out. Later all.